our problem number 3. Determine the magnitude and location of the overall resultant of the trapezoidal load given in figure 10.0. Okay, so yung trapezoidal load natin is uh, 15 kN per meter at point B and 25 kN per meter at point A. So determine daw natin yung overall resultant ng ating load. So hatiin muna natin yung ating load from the rectangular load and triangular load. So, this is also 15 kN per meter. So, yung height ng ating triangular load. Okay, so this is 15. And this is uh, 25 minus 15. So, this is 10 kN per meter. Okay? At yung location ng ating resultant 1. Okay, for the rectangular load is R1. And yung ating namang resultant 2 is for the triangular load. So, this is R2. So, natin lahat. So, R1 is equals to W multiplied by L which is equals to 15 multiplied by 6. Therefore, yung ating R1 is equals to okay, negative 90 kilo newton downward. Next, yung ating namang resultant 2 is equals to uh, okay, yung ating resultant 2 is for the triangular load. Therefore, 1 half of W, which is N kN per meter, multiplied by 6. Yung ating R2, so yung ating R2 is equals to negative 30 kilo newton downward. Therefore, yung ating overall resultant is equals to R1 plus R2 is equals to 90 plus 30. Yung ating resultant R is equals to 120 okay 120 kilo newton downward okay so sabihan ito yung ating overall resultant na r ngayon i-determine naman natin yung kanyang overall distance okay or location from point a so this is d and ito naman yung ating Okay, D2. And, ito naman yung kanyang uh, distance for the R1. So, this is D1. Okay? So, D1 is equals to L over 2, which is equals to 6 over 2, kaya 3 meters. While D2 is equals to 1 third of L is equals to 1 third of 6. Therefore, it is equals to 2 meters. So, yung summation of moment at A is also equals to the R multiplied by the distance D. Clockwise is positive. Okay? So, yung moment at A is equals to R1 multiplied by D1 plus R2 multiplied by D2. So, equals to R1 which is equals to 90 Positive kasi clockwise ang rotation from A ay from point A. D1 multiplied by 3 plus R2 which is equals 30. Ang ikot ng R2 is clockwise therefore it is positive 30 multiplied by D2 na 2 meters. Therefore yung ating MA is equals to positive 330 kilo newton meter. So since positive yung ating MA is clockwise okay clockwise moment so sabi tama lang din yung ating overall resultant na may create ng ating overall resultant from point A is clockwise okay so 330 is equals to r which is equals to 120 multiplied by distance d so d is equals to 2.75 meters from point A. So, kung gagamitin natin yung formula na yung D is equals to one third of W1 plus 2W2 over W1 plus W2 multiplied by L, ang makukuha rin natin is 2.75 from point A. Okay? I know, ang makukuha pa natin dun is yung sa kapila, sa point D. Kasi yung example natin dun, nag-start tayo ng small height to uh, bigger 
height. So, yung kabila yung makakonsider natin doon. Okay? So, this is our problem number 3 for resultant of parallel forces.